thank you for joining us on All of the Press this morning, the newspaper review program, where we'll take a look at our national dailies and try to make sense of it, dissect it as much as time would allow us. And with me to do so this morning is legal practitioner Dotun Hassan and Dr. Doherty Orode. Good to have you both this morning. Good to be here. Thank All you. right. Uh, so this morning we'll begin with the nation newspaper. And I can see through the newspapers, half, the, uh, half of them are talking about coronavirus. So Dr. Uh, Orode will be having you to talk more. <laughs> I mean, of course, uh, Dotun Hassan too. So uh, the Nation newspaper says, Oni Fayemi's politics drove me out of, Oni rather, Fayemi's uh, politics drove me out of APC and 988 projects under wrong agencies. Mm. That's according to budget. Now stations yet to sell petrol at 125 naira rather per liter government uh, to meet, government and marketers to meet on that matter. And on the front page boldly, there I believe it will be scrolled up, you can see 1,003 people under watch as COVID-19 COVID cases hit 12. No, we hear that is more than 12 now. Um, the federal government shuts varsities and polytechnics and unity schools, Buhari's daughter in self-isolation. Uh, president, don't panic, the president says. FCT, Anambra, Enugu, Benue, and Kano send pupils home. And discos need to recapitalize, NEC reports slams firms. And Oyo Assembly confirms uh, caretaker chiefs. And Lagos explosions, death toll now hit. 21. Now we shall begin this morning with coronavirus, of course, because that's the topic we have on our lips. Um, earlier on, Doctor, I'll come to you, Dr. Rode. You were talking about social distancing and what we need to do. Um, now we have 1,300 people on that watch. Do we say, can, it, can we say that that's all we have, or there could be chances of more than that? Yes, there are chances of more than that. So this is a highly transmissible infection. So these 1,300 people are the people whom I believe government has been notified of the people who, these are the people who have contacts with the people who have already mm -hmm. been diagnosed as positive. So as more people are identified as positive, there will be increasing numbers of people under watch. Right. So 1,300 is, you know, whatever it was we had maybe by yesterday when mm -hmm. the news conference was happening. Mm -hmm. As results come out, there may be more people. And the issue is really that we haven't started to tell people why they should practice social distancing. Mm -hmm. um, so what we hear see is schools are shut, universities are shut, mm -hmm. NYC can't Religious. be shut. Mm -hmm. Nobody understands why. Mm -hmm. Why? So they're going home and then they're carrying out their normal duties. The markets are running, the malls are running. Everybody's behaving. It's business as usual. It's a holiday. It's an early holiday. Yeah. Whereas the question should be, why are we doing these things? These are the things we should communicate with our people in order for them to then understand. It's not just a don't go to school. It's a go and stay at home request. Mm -hmm. So when you say go and stay at home request, what should they now be doing? Let's use this opportunity to educate uh, others. So what is ideal is when you've, you've said the children should go home from school, then they should stay at home, right? And the household as much as possible. If people can work from home, that should be the case. We've seen in other countries, in Italy, in the US, in the UK, where people are staying at home and managing themselves as a household. Mm. So there's not a lot of movement up and down. It is in the movement up and down, in the crowded bus stations, in the crowded taxis, in the crowded trains that people are transmitting, touching the same things, touching their faces. So it is that cross-contamination mm -hmm. that people are hoping to do, to reduce in order for us to reduce transmission because the whole idea is that if we can reduce transmission significantly mm -hmm. then we are more likely to be able to protect the vulnerable mm -hmm. but if we allow transmission to run amok then we will just be chasing the number of 1,300, 3,900 and you know this is something that from the experience we've seen of other countries has grown exponentially if you don't right. catch it, mm -hmm. it continues to rise until it overwhelms the healthcare system that's is what people are trying to avoid that mm. it should not overwhelm the system because 
With every person who is infected, they can infect three more. Then they can infect three more. And as the numbers increase like that, a time will come when so many people are critically ill mm -hmm. that the system cannot cope. Handle. So it's a responsibility for us to also help the system. Absolutely. I come to you now, uh, Dotun. Today is Friday, and I do know that you're a Muslim. We've heard, uh, we've, we spoke earlier in the news with a Christian, a pastor. And, of course, the Lagos State Government has also talked about um, restricting um, gatherings, religious gatherings. So in your space, religious space, what will happen in terms of prayer? For instance, today is the Jumaat. What will happen? Well, uh, it's all about uh, compliance uh, to information. And mm. uh, uh, in this part of the world, especially in, uh, uh, in our country, we, we place uh, even uh, our negligence on God. Mm. We place, uh, we, we place our negligence on God. Yes, That's even so our inability sure to comply to simple information. Mm. A whole lot of people still believe that uh, what we can manage by virtue of information uh, is very important that uh, people comply, irrespective of where, whichever religion mm -hmm. that you belong to. It's not about you being a Christian or being a Muslim or not being a pagan or any other religion you practice. It's about compliance. It's about you being a human being. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they, as, 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 as she has rightly mentioned, self-distancing is the way to go. That's mm. the way China were able to, to really suppress yes. the, the, the spread. Mm -hmm. Where we, we, you know, we, we, we remember how the fear of Ebola caused a whole lot of um, um, you know, readjustment of our lives during that era. But I can mention that uh, the way we managed Ebola, was we were more consciously involved than the way coronavirus is spreading. It's as if everybody is still taking a back down. Is this real? Is it true? Is it a foreign disease? Is it a foreign Some disease? people say it's not A lot of other um, um, views that are now spreading via the social media is making the information and the effort of government not to even have effects. Mm. Because the effect is that some people have now started casting it out we can still go back to our own denomination and pray to God. It's not about you praying. It's about you taking precaution. Right. And we, we need the National Orientation Agency to begin to spread the message in mm. every language mm. that everybody must listen. Then there must also be a punitive compliance because because this is happening even in if, even in developed countries they mm -hmm. they arrest they prosecute if you are not so it's not just about you infecting or being getting infected it's about you know placing an immediate national legislation mm -hmm. must be sanctioned the every 36 state house of assembly needs to pass an emergency law then the presidency must ratify that law so that it will, so that once you you you, you fall a victim or or you are not complying, there must be a punitive measure. People have to be restricted aggressively mm -hmm. now, because if you just want to hold everything accountable to the effect of, oh, the corona is, you know, unfortunately, there is a trend that is making the coronavirus more of a joke. Mm -hmm. They are jokingly looking at coronavirus as something everybody must laugh over, yeah, go to you. church, read your social media. This is serious disease. This mm. is killing. This is something that people are dying. This is where people are shedding. It's killing government officials. President of nations are not uh, 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 insulated. So mm. for us, it's not a time for us to to laugh over everything. This is a very serious moment of our life. It's the, be, beyond democracy, it's beyond politics, it's beyond you showing euphoria that you are performing. No, mm -hmm. it's about the information. And if the information is clear, that everybody stay at home, get enough food, get everything, the government needs to be put, you know, having measures of salvaging the situation. Let's, let's have uh, uh, areas of intervention. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, let us buy bags of rice. There must be food supplies if mm -hmm. the people are not going to market. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot say, go home, go away from school. And if the students leave the school or the primary purpose, let me tell you, they will begin to form a football field. <laughs> and that football field will bring in 
over 10,000, if there are 200 within their school already, by the time they get back home, mm -hmm. and there's no precaution, that even from the school, the moral instruction, the teachers have not been orientated. All teachers ought to be orientated before they ask them to leave the school. Mm -hmm. There was no pre-information. There is no guideline, just as you had mentioned. There is no high EC material. The, no stickers, no, no, no billboard. Everything is just going normal. Mm -hmm. So these are areas that we need to pay a lot of attention because the more the information gets as part of our subconscious, the more we can actively fight the disease. Right. Even if the disease comes, the medications and the medical will just be, it will be minimal. Uh, minimal. Yeah. So, and I believe that's the best way we can manage right, it. Thank you. Uh, I'll come to you, doctor, but we'll quickly look at the Punch newspaper. Again, Lagos um, is almost the same thing that we've got here. Uh, the same Lagos traces 1003 as cases hit 12 federal government shut varsities and others. Uh, there's a demonstration of how to greet here. Picture, you can see it there. And it says, Italian who brought coronavirus to Nigeria recovers. Aisha Buhari shuts office. And that's a demonstration Let of the best way to... Let me say something. To that, that demonstration, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's a contact. You do, we don't need this I kind know. of a thing. Doctor, do you any, agree? Any, anything I fully is contact. Agree. You know, we're saying now contact. that we, we don't need any measure. maintain Distance. six feet between two people. In any, so if you are here, six, 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 six. We're not saying that people should not come together. We're saying maintain a respectable distance, mm -hmm. a social distance, a distance that prevents the virus from landing. So if you are coughing, coughing mm -hmm. or you are coughing or sneezing, it will probably go about three feet. Mm -hmm. So within six feet or at six feet, you are better off, less likely to be the recipient of a cougher or a sneezer. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a joke. A lot of people are, it's, it's a joke. Yeah. Okay. Some people are calling it, and, and these are people I've heard talking, okay. they're calling it the end of the end world. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's a foreign it's, disease. Well, it's a foreign ours. disease, I, you know, that's okay, it's but it's here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and But they're saying Nigerians can't get it. The heat is going to kill it. Australia is hotter than Nigeria. Australia, <laughs> Panama, the um, Israel, the Arab countries, they're hotter than Nigeria. And they, and they have, have the disease. Mm -hmm. So what are we talking about? So people need to understand. It's not a black man's disease. Black people in America have it. Black people in the UK have it. Mm -hmm. They're ill. People need to understand that the time is now to institute social distancing measures to curb community spread. Mm -hmm. Talking about black people having it, the Nigerian, uh, the, you know, the one who Nigerians. was mentioned in the news, uh, he hasn't even traveled. He's not gone anywhere, but he, you know, he got it locally. I was going to ask you, uh, part of what we are also doing is, as much as we try to inform the people, we don't want to create a level of unnecessary panic Absolutely. and fear, you know, so that we don't, uh, we, we don't, people don't die now of fear and not of coronavirus. How do we balance it, you know, uh, trying to communicate the intensity of this as well as not forcing people into panic behavior? So we may have missed that boat, mm -hmm. but here's what I will say. Overreaction is the difference between countries that get ahead of it on time and those that don't. The, Nigerian, the Ghanaian president addressed his people as soon as they went from two to six. Yeah. The Rwandan, the South African, the Kenyan presidents all immediately addressed their people. There's something to be said for hearing from the head of government that there is a problem, my people. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're going to do. Here is why. This is what is going to be expected of us for the next X number of days or weeks. We will get on top of this. We'll get on top of it together. The moment you hear that from your national leadership, and it puts an end to all of those conversations that are going on in markets, in this and in that, about is the end of the world. Is there, our president has spoken to us and he has said this is what is going on. Mm -hmm. That's it. So we need bold, decisive leadership at this time. And I am one, I, I certainly think anybody with executive power can do exactly that. You don't have to wait for the president. If you are the governor of a state, just like you're ordering your school shut and you, you, order, you order your borders shut and you say, hello, wait a minute, everybody stay where you are. Mm -hmm. It was a shelter in place um, um, request in California. It was an order, actually, not a request. Yeah. It wasn't a suggestion. You're ordered to shelter in place. Wherever you are, stay there, don't move. 
unless he was going on buy food buy supplies make sure you have everything in the house mm. then we can identify those who cannot provide those things for themselves and ensure that they get the sick the vulnerable the elderly those on admission in hospital mm -hmm. and those are also places anybody in a care facility in a home those people are vulnerable on two levels and the second level, because if their care providers are coming and going every day, they're mingling in the community. That's right. Now, I wanted to say something. I think this is really important. If it is indeed correct that the male, the Nigerian male, yeah. who has no travel history, mm -hmm. has no contact with no, any of doesn't. the known, no contact with any of the known cases, cases mm -hmm. then it is safe to assume that we have local community spread. Because... Mm. It came from somewhere. Yeah, and that's worrying. Now, uh, finally, uh, before we wrap up, uh, Dr. Well, <laughs> Dr. Okay. Hassan, uh, let's talk about the impacts uh, of coronavirus now in other matters. Let's see, uh, for instance, the stations are yet, uh, the fuel price has been dropped to 125 naira. Ideally, we should be happy. But the, you know, um, marketers are not agreeing to that. How do you respond no, to you this know, situation? You know, we are, we, are, we are just like a, a nation that... Uh, uh, errat itself in power corrupt and absolute power corrupt, absolutely. Everybody's believing to have this absolute control of his own uh, um, space. space. And that's why uh, uh, the, 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 the effect is just uh, that we are just cosmetic about mm -hmm. the way we reduce that price. Uh, we're supposed to be not less than 20 naira per litre as a oh. date, if you have to look at the, the global effect of the fuel pump price. And every mm -hmm. it's going to All affect crash. every other aspect of our national life. So we should be prepared. We should insulate ourselves mm. ahead of time. Mm. Uh, like what are, one of the key things I was like, now all our ATMs uh, point, do we have sanitizers mm. at those oh, places? Wow. We have, these are places we have to get conscious of. We, we, we just think everything is about, so you know, people come from abroad, they, they their first point, they slot in car, ATM get it here. You know, the cash, everywhere we go. So we need the, the immediate emergency plan. So the the marketers are joking. They still they, they still form part of the 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 people that fair. are they are just taking it as no is a is a mm -hmm. fair weather issue. So let's just hold on. But the fact that it's coming, they ought to even take that 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 Rant commitment emotion. now that oh whatever is coming as a as a as a imbalance. Look at China. Because it, maybe the way everything fell, now that they are recuperating, they are injecting more funds to those businesses that have suffered. Government needs to have that proactive and, 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 and foreseeable plan that, oh, we know the market are going to fall. Let us increase intervention uh, um, uh, fund that aftermath of this, this is how we reimburse for the loss. Mm -hmm. This is how we reimburse the marketers. This is how we, you know, is about tit for tat. So, mm. but at the moment, we have to have that humanitarian spirit. Now, we have to be connected to ourselves. We live. We need to live that um, uh, sit tight approach to everything. Mm. We need to relieve our nerves and get serious. It's not a religious thing. It's not political. Mm -hmm. It's a natural and national disaster. It's, that a, global it's a global yeah. issue. <laughs> it's a so, global issue. So, and we need to take our own share of responsibility. The governor of Lagos State was proactive from day one. Yes, Lagos is being like every day. It's, it's more, even more announced than the federal government. Very quite frankly, Mr. President have not acted, you know, telling us that don't panic, or mm. maybe I hope this is we'll not. It will make us panic. It will make us panic. It's not enough. Our own it's daughter is enough. there. We, the only thing the mother did is to shut down the office. That's not the best way to go. Mm. You need to let us, you know, you need to play that fatherly and motherly role. No, it's happening to us. Definitely everybody must take the duty. Then let us watch this, those documentaries of how those things were working. We see how America are going about it. When, when, when the president of America was even having the fear of being contacted with the disease, mm -hmm. the, 
the way they manage the information. Proactive. Everybody were proactive. So Actually, we need. Have to wrap now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so very much, uh, Dr. Has, and of course, uh, Doherty Orode for coming Thank and you. shedding Thank more you. light and helping us understand all of this. And this is where we are going to call it a wrap here on this program. We'll continue next week, Monday to Friday. And we are saying stay safe and keep the distance and let's all be well. Have yourselves a great day. I am Amaka Okoye.